breaking news in the city of Whittier where detectives are trying to track down a man who attacked his wife with a chainsaw. Detectives say after he attacked his wife, he took off in a stolen 2004 Mercury Mountaineer SUV. The victim's condition is unknown right now. He was showered in blood. He was looking nervous, full of blood. He was like really full of blood. So he looked at me and then he like kind of like looked away. He opened his gate, hopped in his car. And just drove out. We hear our lady scream, "Help me, help me!" You know, call 911. And she she was going outside, and I saw kids with blood and everything. kept screaming, and then I heard I heard what sound like a chainsaw, and I was like, "What is going on?" It looked like she had some really bad lacerations on her arm, and it was she was just covered in blood here and all down the front. I had seen Alejandro around out front quite a bit. And I had said hi to him here and there, but uh, every time I tried to talk to him, he'd acted really standoffish. This is the man they are looking for, 32-year-old Alejandro Alvarez. This happened around 3 p.m. on Milton Avenue in Whittier. Alvarez's wife, Gloria Mojica, stumbled out their front gate, holding her mangled arm, calling for help. Just about 10 minutes later, he crashed in Santa Fe Springs with an innocent driver. He then got out on foot, stole an unattended SUV that was already running and hasn't been seen since. Police now looking for Alvarez and the stolen blue and tan Mercury Mountaineer he took off in. It has California plates 8ABD233. Officers tell us they did recover a chainsaw at the scene. At least two of the three boys aged between around 5 to 10 years old had blood on them as well, as did their father, who is now on the run.